Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And um, <laughs> before we start, we would just want to give a huge thank you. Always. Um, always, always huge thank you for those who um, have supported us, continue to support us. And it is just such a blessing from the Lord. And we truly see it as that. Mm -hmm. um, really, every day we are thanking the Lord for his faithfulness to us, for his goodness to us. And you know, we just, we know that it's coming from him and from his heart as he continues to walk with us through this journey. And so we just also want to thank you though, for allowing God to use you in that way. Yeah. And, um, and if you would like to support our family, um, we do have a PayPal link below. And, um, so we just, we always appreciate, um, those who can give any amount and, yeah. um, yeah. So, yeah. um, Man, I feel like there is so much to share and this, this so new much normal. to dive into. It, <laughs> it's it's like, difficult, honestly, even before we're doing this difficult. video, I'm like, which Lord, what what do you want us to share? Because I feel like there are just so many so much. things that he's been sharing with us personally, but also just in general about what he's doing in the body of Christ and mm -hmm. um but you know, I just pray that everything that comes out on this video would just be an encouragement for you and just yeah. knowing that God is moving um, and he is doing great and mighty things on the earth right now. And even if we cannot see what he's doing, it's like he's saying, I'm giving you guys evidence, evidence of what is to come. And, and so that's really, I feel like kind of the heart of the video for today is just the evidence of what is to come and what God is currently doing. So um, I think we'll go ahead and just start with, if you wanted to share what you kind of gathered this morning. Exhibit A. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because this, this new normal is tough. Yeah. It's tough because we're used to doing videos every day. Yeah. And we're just kind of keeping, oh, guys, it's like a news channel. It's like, yeah. okay, guys, this happened today. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, this happened today. See you tomorrow. And then we get a Sabbath and we're like, oh, man, it's going to be two days worth. Of and now it's like, oh, my gosh, we, we're, we're doing less videos and we're getting more downloads. Yeah. And it's like, Wow. Talk about keeping you on your toes and keeping you dependent on the spirit yes. and what he wants to mm -hmm. share, you know, go manifest my heart. Okay. Which part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you need, you always going to need leadership from the Lord, our dependency and our prayers and all the things. It's not always going to be about the thing you're concerned with now. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, you know, for the past, you know, 2018, we're like, Lord, we need finances. We need provision. We need provision. We need provision. Well, that's kind of changing now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still do need it, but it's like, it's not as on the front, Before, yeah, the not, front burner of the stove metaphor thingy. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> we're just more like, God, what is on your heart? Of course, that's always what we've been like. But anyway, so I'm going to try to condense this. I'm just laughing with those who are out there who know me, and you're just laughing too. You're like, yeah. oh, Devin, that just means you're going to take a long time. That's just what that means. You're advertising. You know? <laughs> but anyway, I, I am, and I believe that this is going to really, really bless you guys. Yeah. Um, and so I woke, I woke up this morning. In fact, for the past couple of days, my heart has felt like I've had an anvil tied around it, and it's just chained, and it's just dragging me down, and I'm just going like, and again, it's that it's that hope deferred sorrow. And I'm like, Lord, I don't understand why this is, has to be here. Because it's like, I guess it's like when you're single and you believe everything that God has to say about you getting married, but you just still haven't met the person yet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And every sign and prophetic word is saying like you're going to. But it's like, it's just so there's that heart sickness there. And so I woke up this morning. And I was like, I've been seeing like the 242 a lot. I'm just like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm just like, I don't know what it means. And I was just like, and, and then we got on, was it Luke 24? Let me pull it up here real mm -hmm. quick. Luke 24, I was just like, that's it. I'm just going to look at it. Luke 24, verse 2. Last night, it was like, and they found the stone rolled back from the tomb. Yeah. And I was like, okay, um, I think that's actually it. 
Yeah. I think we, boom, I think we found it. Now, what are you saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. And for me, it's like, oh my gosh, more work. Can you just tell me what it is? You know? <laughs> Can you just tell me? You know, I'm not, I'm not like Michelle. I'm a sprinter. I'm like, do, and I'm done. Yeah. And then you're like, you just, you just, you, she will research every number in the book and then pray about it and then sit and, and, and what's it called? And, and soak. And then it's just like, man, I, I, no, that's not me. I could have done 50 different things by then. <laughs> but anyway, two totally opposite yeah. people here. But I had that on my heart, that heaviness. And I was just like, I was looking at it. I was doing my normal stuff. I was checking Facebook, checking YouTube channel, stuff like that. But I'm just like, you know, I'm just uh, not really wanting to be up right now. I really would, I really would like to go back to sleep. But then I checked out Facebook and I checked a friend's Facebook page that I have seriously not talked to in, like, years. Years. I haven't even checked her Facebook in two years. But today was her birthday, and I just checked it. And I was just like, I was like, oh, what's, what is she doing? What is she up to? I'm just like, man, I haven't seen her in a while. And look at her friends. The friends, uh, not how many friends does she have? She's got 242 friends. <laughs> With 42 of those friends being mutual friends. And I'm just like, What? I'm like, so it said 242, and then in parentheses, 42, mutual. I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done, Lord. And then, so in that way that I just expressed just a few seconds ago, I'm just like, Lord, can you just please tell me? Come on, man. You know me. You know I don't like to do all the mega research stuff. I will. It's not, yeah. it's not like I'm complaining or anything. It's just my heart was in a state of like, I can't do this. Yeah. Like, come on, man. I, I felt a sense of obligation. Like that sense of like, Maybe you're in a hospital bed or you're or you're in a you're in a situation where you're on bed rest for some mm -hmm. reason and there's craziness going on in the house. The kids are going crazy and your wife's like, hey, blah, 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 you know what I mean, or something like that. And you really just man, you feel that pressure on your heart to want to get up and go do something to help. Mm -hmm. But, the you know, but, you, you know, maybe your nurse is there going, no, sit down. Just you can't you can't get yeah. up. That's mm -hmm. how I felt this morning, you know. Mm -hmm. I just I wanted to, but I just was like, eh, I can't. Yeah. You know, I was like, Lord, can you just tell me what it, what it means? And um, and I felt like the Lord was like, Well, you found it last night, and your wife found it before you did. She tried to tell you, <laughs> like, but you didn't want to listen. You're 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 like the men who didn't believe the women when they came back and told Jesus that they saw, or told uh, the disciples that they saw Jesus. And so I was like, I was like, okay. And so I went through Luke all of Luke 24, and oh my gosh, you guys, I had the most major encounter with the Lord that, like, it blew my mind. I mean, I was, I was crying at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> I was. It would just, it just blew me away because I was like, Lord, you're amazing. And so, how can I condense this, Michelle? I mean, seriously, maybe you can just ask me some questions or something. <laughs> yeah. It was seriously like an hour and a half worth of yeah. of encounter but basically it's like you know 2018 came and went mm -hmm. we had prophetic words and we even gave prophetic words and all this stuff about what was going to happen in 2018 and i mean it was it was just undeniably the lord mm -hmm. hear me out it was undeniably the lord and then 2018 ended mm -hmm. and then we went into 2019 and now here we are at day 10 of 2019 and on this particular day, the Lord was like showing me how the way I was feeling. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do this, y'all. Have fun on this video. Here we go. <laughs> and on uh, in verse one, it says, but on the first day of the week at early dawn, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices, which they had made ready. And the Lord was like, how do you think that they felt? They felt exactly the way you're feeling right now. Um, they just felt like, because all of their hopes and dreams, all of their prophetic promise, every single fiber of their body, soul, and spirit was wrapped up in the Messiah and all the things that the scripture says that he was going to do. And everything that, that they just, they threw their hearts into him. And just everything, their whole life was Jesus. Yeah. And then he died. Yeah. And it was like, uh, you know, he, he who was the miracle worker, 
he who raised people from the dead died. It was like that was not supposed to happen. I can go back through the Torah and all the <laughs> the law and the prophets and show you, God, that wasn't supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to you come were in supposed and be to, king and yeah, reign and rule. You were supposed to do all of these amazing Israel things. Free. We were super happy about it. We were excited about it. And it was like, and then you died. It's like, we have no idea what to do. Like, what do we do now? Mm-hmm. Like, and that's kind of like, that's not, that. what do we do now? That's kind of, that's not really where we were. But when 2018 went, and in 2019, here we go, that's what it was like. It was like Jesus died. Yeah. It was like the promise died. Because this all of this stuff was supposed to happen in 2018. Mm-hmm. And it didn't. And it's just like, uh, and then after that, God began to speak to me about his time frame and mm-hmm. what he's saying. And you have to get the sense of what I'm saying. And it's like, but it's like, but the death of Jesus for them and 2018 ending for us was very much the same thing. It was yeah. just like, it was not a good thing. Yeah. And, and I'll just go ahead and throw this in now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it fits right in, is I'm reminded of John chapter 11. Mm-hmm. And it's all about when Lazarus is sick, and, and Jesus is like, he stays away, and Lazarus dies. But one of the things and that... he said, he said, this will, will not end, end in death. death. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. And then he died. It's like... uh I mean, that's a whole other level of confusion yeah. because the Lord said it would not end in death. Yeah. And then he died. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and, uh, and so, excuse me? <laughs> but I love it when he's talking to his disciples and they're like, and he's like, okay, we're going to go there. And, and, you know, at first they're like, well, let him sleep. Cause he says our friend Did Lazarus is asleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where, where do um, we start? Well, uh, let's go. Right here, the disciples answered, Lord, if he is asleep, if he's sleeping, he will c- recover. This is John verse, John, uh, John chapter 11, 11 verse 12. 12. And then it says, however, Jesus had spoken of his death, but they had thought he had referred to falling asleep into a refreshing and natural sleep. <laughs> so then Jesus re- told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. He did. And then verse 15, <laughs> it says, and for your sake, I am glad I would that I was not there. It will help you to believe. Oh, Jesus. And and we were talking about this this morning, and I was just, I mean, that just hit my heart like crazy because, you know, like we said, it was, we were believing that God was going to step in and he was going to do this miraculous thing. And, and it gonna was going to heal like, our financial leprosy. Yeah, he was, he was going to perform everything that he said he was going to do. Mm-hmm. And we were going to see the fulfillment of it before the end of the year. And and it's like, but but here comes God and he's like, I for your sake, I'm glad I was not there. And it will help you to believe. And yeah. and I am just like, wow, Lord, truly, like right now, 10 days, you know, it's January 10th right now. Welcome to 110. Yeah. And we might I'm get just, into that in a second. And I am just like. <laughs> Lord, I thank you that you were not there because what God has serious, what he has done in my heart and, and even just in our family in the mm. last 10 days has been phenomenal. Yeah. And there has been a healing for me as he's revealed himself. Mm-hmm. There has been some deep heart things that have been in my life for so long that God just like, I am bringing that out. And had he stepped in when he did, I would have not been sitting in my bowl of oil outside the house, mm-hmm. outside of the promise, almost to the promise, but just outside of it. I mean, God's you literally like, could take three steps in the vision. Yeah. You could literally get out of the bowl, take three steps and you'd be on the property. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. God's like, this I'm I'm telling you like this is where you're at right now, but I'm so glad that I was not there because there it's really for a greater glory, and and it was just like wow, Lord, you know because in the midst of it it's difficult you know I mean God brought me through so much I think for me really everything kind of you know quote died at at like on on the 28th and the 29th I I kind of went through 
all of that. But then the, you know, the 30th. Oh, December. Yeah, of December. Yeah. And, and it's like, but God steps in. It was on the 30th. God really stepped in in a mighty way. And and then the 30th. Oh, with the Elisha. Yeah, with the, the Elisha. Yeah. <laughs> and that then, was amazing. Yeah, that wow. was amazing. Oh, that God was stepped like... in. And then on, on the 31st was everything he was speaking about the king and him being king. And then we went to the to the first. And from that day till now, I mean, it's just been amazing, like, to see how God just keeps moving and keeps just going forward. YouTube his... could not contain the videos. Yes. I'm serious. <laughs> and, well, they probably could. And but. so it's like, yes, Lord, I agree. I'm glad you didn't step in when I wanted you to. Just to give us a healing. To give us a healing. God's like, no, I'm stepping in to give you a resurrection. Mm -hmm. And and so it's like, just because God wasn't there when you wanted him to be there, like Mary and Martha, mm -hmm. they wanted him to be there to heal their brother. Lord, if you had only been here. And, <laughs> and so, and it's like, man, where are you, Lord? And it was like four days. He was dead for four days. It's like, there's no possibility of a resurrection yet. Jesus comes in and he does bring resurrection. Mm -hmm. And so, again, here we see in Luke 24, only this time it is with Jesus himself. So it's an even greater depth of just like that, that they were going through the grief. Um, because you're talking about Mary, who had gone through what she went through with Lazarus. She had seen Jesus himself raise somebody from the dead but then here jesus himself had died and it's like wow yeah what, what is going on yeah yeah and so <clears throat> that's a good one because it's like i just felt like the lord was saying that this morning yeah he was saying like i am glad that i wasn't there for you in 2018 the way you wanted me to or the way you thought it was going to happen it's like i'm glad mm -hmm. because now watch this you yeah. know and i'm just like okay <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's like but let, let me keep going with this and then you'll yeah. see why i'm kind of a little weird today yeah but so and they found the stone rolled back from the tomb and right there i felt like the lord were like that's it right there that's the 242 right there like you know the could jesus be any better well yes he could because after the resurrection, he was actually a better Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's like Jesus was phenomenal pre-death. But then after death, he was like in, he was ready to be completely glorified and go back to the position he was before he became a baby in the womb, you know? And he was just, he was amazing. So it's like, so it's like our lives in the Lord have been pretty amazing. And he's been showing up and doing amazing things in our lives, you know. But I feel like with the what the Lord's saying now is like now you're going to you're going to, the resurrected Jesus, the resurrection power of Jesus is coming. You know, a lot of times we would see that nine ten. I'm like, Lord, what are you saying with the nine ten? And it was a it was generally First Peter five nine through ten was talking about after you've suffered for a little while. Then the God of all comfort will come and establish you and make you what you ought to be. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's coming. You know, just a sense of like, God's like the resurrected Jesus is getting ready to step into your life. Yes. And do some crazy, amazing stuff, mm -hmm. you know. But as we, as, as, you, as you continue to read uh, Luke 24, you'll see that Jesus really didn't do any miracles. He just talked. He opened up the word and he, he opened up the scriptures to him and he shared, like he opened up the eyes. Like there was a, there's guys on the road to Emmaus and he opened up their eyes to see the, the scripture. And, the, and do you want to talk about what you were feeling about? Like that's what, what you feel like God's going to be doing? Yeah. Um, so um, I think it's in verse, we scroll down a little bit. Sure. To verse 21. 21. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it said that um, in verse 21, and these are, this is with the men. Um, the men on the road on to the Emmaus. On the road to Emmaus. Yeah. And it says, you know, Jesus is like, oh, so, you know, what was going on? No, 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 I'm sorry. Right. Hey, yeah, we yeah. have to read this part. <laughs> we have to read this part. <laughs> we have to read this part. Uh, 
And so they basically, there was the two guys, and they were on the road to Emmaus, and Jesus himself caught up with them and, and was already accompanying them. But their eyes were held so that they did not recognize him. And he said to them, <laughs> what is this discussion that you're exchanging, throwing back and forth between yourselves as you walk along? And they, and they stood still, looking sad and downcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was me this morning. Yeah. Um, then one of them, named Cleopas, I guess that's how you say it, answered him, Do you alone dwell as a stranger in Jerusalem? Have you been living in a, in a, in a cave for three days? <laughs> Why, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have, actually. <laughs> have, you, have you been under a rock? <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> it's the center of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Um, do, you, um, do you alone dwell as a stranger in Jerusalem and not know the things that have occurred there in these days? And he said to them, what, what kind of things? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's hilarious. That is so funny. This is Jesus. He's saying, what kind of things? Yeah. And they said to him, about Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, all right, who was a prophet, (laughs) mighty in work and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers gave him up to be sentenced to death and crucified him. And this is what they were hoping, it says, but we were hoping, were hoping, that it was he who would redeem and set Israel free. We were hoping. What are they saying there? We've given up hope. There is no hope. Because he died. We thought Mm -hmm. that he would redeem and set Israel free. We thought God was going to do a certain thing, but 2018's passed. You can't resurrect 2018, Mm -mm. you know? It's that kind of sense. It's like, well, we were hoping, but now what do we do? You know what I mean? And And then it goes on. Um, and it says, yes, and besides all this, now it is the third day since these things occurred. And moreover, some women of our company astounded us and drove us out of our senses. I love that. <laughs> they were at the tomb early in the morning, but did not find his body. And they returned saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Mm-hmm. And so it's like... Here, here they've heard something, but it just, it, it's confounding them. They're yeah. just like, how, how is this even working? And then, of course, Jesus replies to them. Do you want to go ahead and read that? Yeah. And Jesus said t- to them, O oh, foolish ones, sluggish in mind, dull of perception, and slow of heart to believe everything that the prophets have spoken. And that right there just kind of stabbed me in the heart when I heard it. Uh, and but I was just like, okay, Lord, I can be a foolish and sluggish of mind, dull of perception. That probably makes me a disciple. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, whatever. Just keep speaking to me. Keep sharing with me. Just make me sharper. You know, mm-hmm. make my mind stronger and quicker. Or whatever. You know. And then later on, I felt like the Lord was like, no, that's not. That's not what I'm talking about for you. Um, and so I went on to uh, read all of this. And uh, cause I just can't, I don't think I can read it all. No, we can't go through it was just, all of it. I just can't go through the whole experience, you know. But the bottom line is the resurrected Jesus showed up for them on their behalf. And if you look at the beginning of, the, uh, of it, the, the angels, he says, he is not here. This is in verse 6 of Luke 24. It says, he is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you. That phrase right there really stuck out to me. Yeah. You know, remember how he told you. So it's like, let me let me just sum it up. You know, for us, we feel like, you know, 2018 died. It mm-hmm. did. It really did pass away. And there is no bringing that back to life. There isn't. But it's like the word of the Lord doesn't pass away. No. You know, it just doesn't. Um, and what he promised is going to come to pass. And I felt like the Lord was saying, I'm trying to show you in so many different ways in your life, literally with tangible evidence, trying to show you that the stone has been rolled away. Yeah. You know, that which has been held back 
from getting your breakthrough because see, it's the spirit of the Lord that gives you your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. It's not you and your self effort. Man, I could do seven series of videos on that. It is the spirit of God only. It's like the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. You know, Isaiah 42, 16, I am determined to do these things for them and I will not leave them forsaken. Mm -hmm. All of these things are, our faith is based on the word. Well, it's not our job to perform the word. Mm -mm. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's his job to perform the word. You know, what is it saying? Jeremiah 1, 11, I think it is, or something there, 14, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. It says he's active over yep. his word to perform his word. Yeah. You know, early in 2017, when things weren't happening, I was like, Lord, man, th things aren't happening. I feel like I need to do something. Oh, maybe I need to be moving. I need to do something. Lord, what do I need to do to make the promise come to pass? God's like, nothing. Yeah. I'm doing this for my name's sake. <laughs> Devin, you need to just lay on the table, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just, yeah. just lay on the table. You know, I will deliver. I will do all the, 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 the delivering. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so... And so I just felt like the Lord was saying that, like, the tomb is being, uh, the, t the Jesus is yeah. coming. It's like, it's that which was, see, because the stone needed to be rolled away in order for the resurrected Jesus to come out. I guess not really. He could have just went poof, poof. Yeah. You know? But I'm just saying there's a symbolism there of it's gone. He's yeah. alive. Mm -hmm. The promise is alive. That, w that which you thought was dead is alive. Yeah. And it's even more powerful than it's ever been. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and he's getting ready to come in and show you. And then he walks up to the to the disciples and starts having a conversation with them. He appears to Mary. He appears to Peter. He appears to Mary and all the women that brought the spices. See, and I felt like the Lord was like, you see, they're, they're I'm dead. And they're still bringing me spices and stuff like that. It's like, yeah. it's like, 2018's dead. All those promises died. And you're still bringing me the spices of your prayers, the ointments of your praise and mm -hmm. worship. Mm -hmm. You're still bringing that all to me. This dead man was still the life-giving source to these women. Yeah. They didn't know what else to do. It's like, this is Jesus. I mean, <laughs> I, I shouldn't even be alive. If he's dead, I should just go ahead and die because there's really no reason for me to be alive mm -hmm. without him being in my life. And so... So I just felt like the Lord was saying that. He was comparing me and our family, really. Mm -hmm. It's not just me. It's our, our whole family to these women. And in a sense of like the Lord appeared when the stone and they found the stone rolled back from the tomb means Jesus was alive. They just didn't get that yet. Mm -hmm. They didn't get that yet. And we've had signs and evidences lately where God is saying this is the sign. This is the evidence that the promise is alive and it's al alive more than ever. I would literally have to give you the very thing and that would be like the next step. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like the evidences are so profoundly obvious and it's like, it's like, that's true. That's true. And so, um, and so that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on that part. Yeah. I just you wanted know, to, um, oops. That just, you know, 2018 has come and gone and but the promise of God has it. Yeah. It's like they felt deep grief that he died. Grief on a level that we probably don't even understand. Because they yeah. actually touched Jesus with their... Yeah. They touched... They touched it. They touched him. You know what I mean? And it's like... And then he died. It's like... They still were not... They weren't thinking, oh, he's going to raise from the dead. We'll be all right. They weren't thinking that or else they wouldn't have been grieved. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? And so it's like 2018 has come and gone. And it's like... Here we are continuing to bring our praise and our spices and our offerings to the Lord. And it's like we come to find that the Lord is like meeting with me this morning. And and he's uh, saying that, no, here it comes. It's like, you know, I put out that video a while ago when God told me now comes the long awaited promise. And that, even that gave me like, yay, 2018, you really are going to do this. And then it comes and goes and then you just, you feel just a, a grief and I don't really, and then we go and we do the, the whole King revelation thing that God, that was amazing. I mean, that was just amazing. But then it's like, we're still kind of doing this life day to day, day to day. And I'm going like, Lord, what, what, what else is next? 
You know what I mean? What else is next? And then, so what am I trying to say here? It's, it's, it's really difficult for me to talk today because I'm just telling you guys, the Lord just like wrecked me this morning. And I'm just, I find it hard to walk upright. He's, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like revivals where people just get blasted by the spirit. They, they can't even walk. Mm-hmm. They're so blasted by the Lord. They, can, they literally cannot walk. They need people to help them walk. And I just feel like that's kind of happened to me in my heart today. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I, I'm having a hard time. You know, there's, I, I, I feel like I explained it pretty well during God time, but then this is like my second time. How do pastors do like three services? That's crazy. I don't know. That's like, <laughs> but it's like, I guess what, what the Lord overall, what he was saying was like, the promise was not dead. Not mm-hmm. dead. Um, it, you felt the death, you know, and he was glad that he didn't heal us the way we wanted him to. And that now we can see a greater thing, a resurrection, which has always been the play. And it's always been that way. He's always referred to what he was going to do as like a resurrection type of thing anyway, Mm -hmm. which is why the uh, Lazarus thing makes so much sense, why it was popping out at you. Mm -hmm. But it's like that the promise is not dead. And it's like because, you know, a lot of us are prophesied. um, What was the word she said? The dreams... for, for many in 2018, the the banner over your life is going to be dreams really do come true. And I remember when I was in Indiana, Indianapolis, and I was like, I was like, Lord, you gotta let me know. Was that in March? Yeah. I was like, you gotta let me know if this is real or not, because I do not want to put my hope in something that's actually not your word. Mm-hmm. Um, if I mean, I Lana Vosser, I just she's awesome. She, I think she's one of the good ones that the Lord has allowed us to continue with but i was like i don't care you know she's a woman you know (laughs) i'm a man you know i mean it doesn't matter if it's not from you it's not from you Mm -hmm. or if it's from you that's fine but is it for us yeah you know and then i come out of the parking lot of kroger and the first sign i see biggest sign on the entire street was dreams fulfilled and it was from a realty company about a house Mm -hmm. i mean i was just about homes You know, and I was just like, I was blown away. And I just felt the presence of, I felt the Lord was like, da-da, you know what I mean? (laughs) And he was like, yes, it's very true. It's absolutely true. The banner, and what is the sense of what God was saying? The banner over your life will read, dreams really do come true. It just didn't happen in 2018. Mm -hmm. And the Lord was like, well, she said many. I just, this is, I'm just going to share with you what I felt like the Lord was saying to me this morning. It's like, she said many. She didn't say all. She said many, you know, and there's probably people out there that have that banner over their life that they don't have any public way of letting everybody know that it happened. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They don't have this big public platform or something. And, and and I felt like the Lord was like, so there's many that will happen in 2018, but then there's others that will happen in 2019. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, and but it's like, am I saying that the banner over your life is going to read dreams fulfilled? You know, our dreams really do come true. Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. And he's like, remember what I told you. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because over the last, like, how many, I think it was on, uh, was it on the 4th? The Lord said, I want you to remind me of everything I promised you. Mm -hmm. And we have been praying that for this whole time, for six days now. Yeah, we've just, we literally have made a list and Mm -hmm. we just go through our one son, literally will like go through every line line upon line. A five-year-old. He <laughs> loves it because he's like, wow, I have stuff to actually pray. Yes. And he doesn't have to depend on his mind. Yeah. Because he's like, I don't have anything to pray. He loves the list. Yeah. And it, it is good for him because it helps him remember. Oh, mm. baby. So, yeah. So that's what we've been doing lately. Yes. We've been just praying and remembering everything that, that mm-hmm. he said. And it's like, you know, the whole point is Jesus, like Jesus was like, hey, this is what's going to happen, guys. This is what's going to happen. 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 And they only heard yeah, what they heard and they they're, it filtered through their minds and their expectations and their hopes and their dreams. And, oh, well, that means this and that means this and this is what's going to happen. Yay. And then Jesus died. It messed all that up. Yeah. And then that, that grief was all they could see. Yeah. It's like, Lord, I don't understand. I thought you said this and I thought you said that. And it's like, I did. <laughs> it's like, well... Uh, 2018 was that way, 
You missed a turn, bro. <laughs> you know I mean? And God's like, no. Yeah. No. I'm, the, the plan is working out perfectly. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> so, and you just something And I just wanted, wanted to, to also talk about, it's um, Luke 24 in verse 49, but also verse 48. It says, you are witnesses of these things. It's like, we are literally going to witness this. We are going to mm -hmm. witness God coming through and and bringing forth the promises that he has spoken over our life i mean we're literally witnessing it yeah we're witnessing some things that god's speaking and been sharing with us for a long time and it's like it's we're literally seeing it come to happen come yeah. to come to happen <laughs> come to pass and it's like wow i mean we we experienced a little measure of vindication just today yeah about something that we were really struggling with or at least I was. Yeah. And I was like, Lord, but I just knew the Lord wanted me to do a certain thing and kind of isolate myself from a certain relationship. How about that? And it was just like, that doesn't make sense, but I'll do it. And it's just like, it was just a, the, the little bit of vindication I got from it today was just like, wow, you really do need to listen to the Lord in everything and all things. Yeah. And don't question. Don't. Just don't. It's like. So anyway, you want to go, keep going. Yeah, and so then in verse 49, it says, And behold, I will send forth upon you forth. what my father has <laughs> promised. And then it goes on to say, But remain in the city Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. But the first part of that verse, it's like, I will send forth upon you what my father has promised. And it's like, God himself, as father, he has spoken so much about us being you know, sons and daughters of the king, but also about seeing him as our father. Mm -hmm. And it's him as the father who has promised us so much. And it's like Jesus is like the word. Jesus himself is coming and saying, I'm going to send forth upon you what my father has promised. Wow. And so Jesus is saying, I am going to step in and perform and do the very mm. word that my father has promised, what yeah. he has spoken. And it was just like, yes, that that is what God is saying. Yeah. Like he is saying, I, I am going to do what I've promised. I am going to come forth and, and fulfill the promises in your life. And it's mm -hmm. like, yes, you know, and just feeling that like, hey, God is talking about, you know, resurrection he is saying like this is not dead i am coming to bring you life and and it's and he just shared that with us back at the embassy suites remember yeah. when we had to separate from the corporation and we thought like wow we really thought that was the lord i guess not man this okay i guess you're gonna do things a different way um and then it was like even then god was like resurrection just yeah. remember resurrection and then lana Vosser's she came out with a word talking about God's decreeing resurrection. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, like, Lord, that's amazing. You know, we may never meet, we may, we may never meet this woman ever, <laughs> but man, do we know her by the spirit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, wow, it's amazing. But go yeah. ahead, keep going. And so it was just, I don't know, it was just very, very encouraging because I'm like, yes, God is going to <laughs> step in. Jesus is going to step in. And, and there's been so many things that he's been showing us. How um, he's been stepping and, in, literally. Yeah, he's stepping you know? in and... And just like, it's like, all right, Lord, you are doing these things. And, and I have, and even just showing us more, I feel like of, you know, when we're in our home and, and what he's going to be doing during the time that we're in, like when we literally are placed in our garden place and, and what, what he has for us and what he's going to be doing. And I feel like that could be a whole nother video in and of itself. So I'm not going to share it right now, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it's sure, just, it's sure. also, it's like, wow, this is so good. And it's like, you know, and God's reminded us, you know, it's like these things must come to pass. Even Jesus was talking about that. Yeah. It's like, all of this has to happen as it was, as it was proclaimed, as it, as it came from the prophets, you know, he had to, to die and be raised again and all of that which was all said in the word and it's like but they didn't hear it even though yeah. jesus said it they still didn't hear it and understand they didn't understand it they just they just figured oh okay well 
it, it's it's very much like us. Mm -hmm. God speaks a thing and he shares with us a thing. And it's just like, oh, okay. When it goes through our mind. It filters through our soul. And we go, well, how's that going to happen? It's like, oh, okay, well, whatever. And the things that maybe are uncomfortable to us, we don't focus on those. Yeah. We only like the, well, we're going to focus on this part that we really, really like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when Jesus dies, it's like all those other things that you were uncomfortable with, they come to the forefront and you go, oh, yeah. that's why you told us that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, it's like this was, we need to get the whole word yeah. that God is speaking, the gotta, whole message. We got to eat the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada. <laughs> the whole plate. The whole plate. You know I had to do that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just think if anything, God is just saying, he's like, hey, don't, don't give up. Don't faint. Don't lose heart. I am telling you, like, I, if I have not yet stepped in, there is a reason for it. And I'm telling you that that reason is going to bring about a greater glory in your life. And, and just that it is going to, it is for the greater good of what God is doing and, and what he is bringing together. And, you know, I just, I don't it's know. It's not because you haven't heard from the yeah. Lord or you must have missed it or you must have done something wrong or, or maybe you got to go after that promise. Or, it's not any of that. Yeah. It's just him. And he's glad he hasn't stepped in yet. Yeah. Because he's like, ooh, man, I'm going to be able to do this now. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I just know for our life personally, like, I'm just, mm. I'm just like, all right, God, you know, I am glad that you didn't step in because you were, you still had work to, to complete. You have still things. You're like, you're not quite there yet, but I know what's going to happen out of this. I know that you're going to feel that sorrow and, and, and all of that, but I know great joy is going to come out of it. And that great joy is going to lead to greater glory, my greater glory. And, and it's like, yes, Lord, thank you so much. Because I know for a fact, like all that God has done, which has just been incredible for me personally, in, mm -hmm. in just freeing me from of some of the just financial bondage that I was in, that God's been working on this whole time. But yeah. it's like just some of the things that he's brought forth and shown me. Like the way you think about the it. The way that I think the about it. the way your heart's been structured yeah. to deal with yeah. it. Right. And, and, and just realizing like, wow, I didn't even see that there. Mm -hmm. And and God just saying, all right, let's remove that. Yeah. I'm like, wow. He did that. He was, I believe he was, you know, it's it's always so perfect because it's like, if he had stepped in, that would not have been removed yet. But because he didn't step in, it gave him the opportunity to then step in mm -hmm. because of, everything that he had worked and moved and how how he's moved and it's just like god you are so good you know and and we just have to trust him and have faith in what he is speaking over our lives and what he is doing and and so i just feel like personally like we're just in this place of just great anticipation great expectation for all that god's doing and and what he's speaking and what he's saying mm -hmm. and um yeah go ahead so god's been um i was discussing with michelle whether i should share this or not <laughs> but god's been just working in our lives guys in like miraculous ways mm -hmm. i wish we could share some of the stuff but it's like it's been just been awesome some of the things that god has done to help michelle and she was talking about with our with our <clears throat> our our kids and you know <clears throat> even with me but for with me this morning it's just been really really amazing and you know some of the stuff I shared on this video it's, it's it was just really good but then at the end of of this encounter this is how this encounter with the Lord ended because I was still really stabbed in the heart by that whole you know you're you're slow of perception and you're you're dull and you're foolish and how can you be so downcast and sad i was like that's me you know what i mean and i felt like the lord was like i felt like the lord said devin i am not i'm going to try to explain it to you the way he the way the encounter happened um 
I felt like the Lord was like, Devin, I am not like, ma- I'm not mad at you at all. I am not disappointed at you at all. And I felt like the Lord was like, there is not one like shred of a shred of the smallest molecule of disappointment in my heart toward you right now. And it was like, it that was the jab, okay? <laughs> that was the jab to set up the right cross. And, and it just hit me like, you're, you're, you're not? Like, well, of course you're not, but it's like, you're not? You know, not not at all, not even a not even a little bit, you know. And he was like, "No, not at all." And and then there was a part of my heart, interesting. There was a part of my heart that like just wanted to go into explaining why he should be disappointed in me, why he should be upset, why he should be this. And but I just knew where that was going to go. That's just a merry-go-round. It's just a rabbit trail, mm-hmm. you know. And it keeps you in the spot that God's trying to get you out of. Why this is why he's speaking to you to get you out of that, yeah. And you want to go back into it and run around in it more. And it's like I recognize that, and I was just like, okay, Lord, well, well, how do you see me then? How do you look at me? <laughs> and it was just the funniest thing. The Lord was just like, uh, it was like he, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like the Lord was just like flabbergasted, you know, he was just like, he was just like, uh. It was like he couldn't even, he couldn't tell me. He had to show me. And so he was like, it it was like we were sitting together in like, I would say like a theater setting. (laughs) And like a, but it was almost like an outside amphitheater type of thing. I don't know. But we were just sitting, that that wasn't, the setting wasn't the focus. But I could tell he stood up. So we were obviously sitting because I was sitting during this encounter. And it was like he was sitting with me. But in this vision, he stood up. And it was like he was a superhero. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Iron Man, but Iron Man, he has this chest beam that can come out of his chest, and it's like one of his biggest weapons. Depletes him of a lot of his energy, but that was an unnecessary side note. Anyway. <laughs> but, like, he just, he can shoot this beam out, right? And it's this clean, pillar-like, just nicely hewn beam, right? Well, the Lord, he stood up, and he did like this, and he was just like, ah. Oh. And all of this, like, it was light that, like, covered his entire, I mean, his chest, his his stomach, everything. It was just coming out of him. And it was just blazing. I don't, I don't, it was, it was weird. It was, it was wild. It was jagged. It was, it was, it was not this pristine, it was like angelic. Is how you yeah, it, it was. It, it's it like, was like, it looked, the I don't know the grooves of the light looked like like ripped up tree bark, you know what I mean? And then dancing around the whole thing was this this glow of like rainbow colors, you know, kind of like when you're in summer and you're you're doing the sprinkler, and if the the sprinkler gets it just right or the hose gets it just, it can catch the sun in in a way that you can see a rainbow. It was mm-hmm. kind of like that. And it was just it was just Man, it was just so full of life and light and intensity and just, it was like, it, it was crazy. And um, and it was just blazing out of him. And this rainbow thing is dancing out of him. And then just kind of like out of the sides were these sparks of l- like like liquid light that were just shooting off. Kind of like a welder. If a welder was mm-hmm. welding, it was just shooting off. And I was like... And I'm sitting there looking at this, and I'm looking at him, and the just the lion-like ferocious intensity with which mm-hmm. he was yelling and just ah, oh, and it was just coming out of him like Iron Man, <laughs> but it was huge, way bigger than Iron Man. And uh, you know, Iron Man ain't got nothing on Jesus anyway. <laughs> but um, and then that vision stopped, and I just was like. I mean, it just hit me. That was the overhand right that hit mm-hmm. me. He's like, I'm not mad at you. This is how I feel about you. And it just knocked me out. And I was just like, that's how you feel about me. And I just couldn't even talk. I just, my heart just started bubbling and I just started weeping. Mm-hmm. You know, I just started crying, man. Cause I was mm-hmm. just like, that's how you feel about me. Mm-hmm. Like, it just, it blew my mind. And I was just like, that's just not how I feel. You know, I'm wiping my eyes with my <laughs> hoodie. And I'm just like, that's not how I 
feel about myself. Now, here I am in the midst of just weeping and sobbing and just for the goodness of God, not because of something bad happening. It's just like, I'm amazed. You know, and I'm just like, well, that's not how I see myself a lot of the times. And God's like, I know, but you can't listen to you. In the midst yeah. of everything that was going on, he's like, I know, but you can't listen to you. Yeah. You must listen to me. Yeah. Listen to what I say every yeah. time, on every occasion, for everything. Yeah. We done? You know what I mean? It's like, period. It's yeah. like, you have to do that. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, well, well, okay then. I'm going to do that. You know, and uh, have we not been doing that this whole time? Well, of course we have. But it's almost like God's like, welcome to the next level, buddy. You can only go so far as a servant in your relationship with God. You can only go so f you can only go so far in your relationship with God as a soldier, yeah. as the good son doing the right thing and keeping everything in order and doing the good Christian thing. You know what I mean? You can only go so far with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to graduate into the level of true, mature sonship. Yeah. And I almost feel like like that's what God's been doing with me this mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah. I think even Steve is speaking that a lot, honestly, for yes. months mm -hmm. when you really think about it. Yes. I feel like that's been the big overarching picture for me. Even back in twenty seventeen before we even came here. God, I was I was sitting, I had a vision of me sitting in the uh in this uh lawyer's office and it turned out to be a judge's office and the judge actually happened to be Jesus. Because you know, months later into this vision, I get a part two of the vision and Jesus comes in in a in a judge's robe. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, I'm signing papers. I'm, I've decided to give you mercy, you know, and he's signing it with his blood ink, you mm -hmm. know, from his pen. And, and I'm just like, what? This, I'm, this is a surprise, mm -hmm. you know. And it's like back then it was like we heard this Bill Johnson message where he says an inheritance is given to sons, yeah. not servants and soldiers. Yeah. And God's like, I got to get you to that place where you yeah. see yourself as my son, not as my the servant that always does the right thing, even in the face of hardship and craziness. I am that guy. I'm going to do the right thing by God, literally by God. <laughs> but it's like, God's like, there's a, there's more to it than that. You, you've reached, you have reached the 10th degree black belt of mm -hmm. being a servant. You've got to not do that anymore. Yeah. You've got to know what it means to be a son. And I'm like, okay, Dad, well, can I have a car? Can I have two of them? And can, I need a house. Can I have that, Papa? <laughs> uh, Dad, uh, I got some more stuff. Can I talk to you a little bit? You know? Because, <laughs> you know, s servants aren't going to do that. No. Servants are going to do what they're told. In fact, servants, their prayers are very minimal. Very minimal. And it's just like, it's just a thing that God's been doing in me this whole time. But that's kind of how the, uh, the the encounter this morning ended. And you can see by the current length of our new normal video length that, <laughs> that, that there's just a lot of stuff going on and a lot of stuff to share and a lot of amazing things God's doing in our heart and in our lives. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and so that's really, you just wanted to share because Devin was like, I just, I want people to know, like, why I maybe seem a little different in this video, because yeah. it's just like what God did with your heart Heart today has just been, it's just like, you know, you can't walk away from something that without it just like yeah. lingering and just, just processing it and, yeah. and everything. And it's just like, yes, yes. I almost didn't do the video today because I was just like, I just wanted to just go and lay on the bed. Mm -hmm. We just like lay on the bed and stare at the ceiling and just be like, <laughs> wow, Lord, just do some more. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it really rocked me hardcore. Yeah. It's like when a person gets knocked out, they get up and you can tell they're just not quite there. Mm -hmm. They haven't recovered yet. They, yeah. they take, it takes them time to really mm -hmm. kind of get back to that normal state because they've been just, you just can't. Yeah. Because your brain is shooken, shooken, shaken. Shooked, shaken, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what, it, that's what it's like for me right now. I'm just like, wow. I was like, so, well, yeah. praise the Lord, you know. Yeah. Just... So I think that's really what we have for you guys today. Um, and before we go, I just wanted to pray for all of you. And um, so, Lord, we just want to come to you. And I just pray that you would give us eyes to see 
I pray that you would give us eyes to see how you see us. Lord, I pray that you would give us eyes to see um, what you have spoken to us. Help us to remember the words that you've spoken over our lives and help us to cling to you as the truth and to believe that above all else. Mm -hmm. And Lord, um, I just pray again that for those that um, could just be hurting and just confused by why maybe things haven't worked out the way that they thought they were going to work out and all of that, Lord, that you would just bring in your healing hand upon them, that they would be able to um, see clearly what you are doing and what you are saying and what you are speaking over their lives. I pray that you would just step in. When they say, Jesus, help me, Lord, you would just step in and um, pray that as as a people of believers we would continue to just keep our hearts open to you that no matter what happens in our life lord we would keep our hearts just fully open to you because you are our source of provision and our source of healing and so lord we just want to come to you and um i do just pray that your healing hand would come upon your people or that you would that you would just do a mighty work and just bring forth the healing um, that you have for us, the healing as you continue to reveal, as we continue to walk out and walk forward in all that you have for us. I just pray that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I just wanted to just say again, um, <clears throat> just quote uh, Luke 24, verse 49, where Jesus says, and behold, I will send forth upon you what my Father has promised. So just remember, like, death, you know, heaven and earth. The Lord told me a couple of days ago or something like that, right? It was like, it's like heaven and earth will pass away, but my word won't. Mm -hmm. It's like death can't, nothing can overpower the word of God over your life. Yeah. You know? So just continue to believe and you will see the glory of God, which is what he talked to me about all day yesterday. By the way, I haven't made a video on that either. But yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So we love you guys and appreciate all your support and all your uh, comments and everything that God has done through you to support this family. It has been just miraculous. Yeah. It has just been miraculous. And we just love you guys, you know, even the ones who don't love us. <laughs> <laughs> So, so until next time, we will see you later. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.